If you'd like to purchase Magic Online cards at competitive prices, check out our web store at mtgoacademy.com slash store. All right, here we are, round two against Epsilon Minus. Uh, so, be interesting to see what, uh, what kind of deck he's up against. Uh, we win the die roll with a Stout 2. Um... And we open up with a pretty interesting hand. We can we can go workshop into Crucible of Worlds. Where'd you go? Man of Vault. Probably better to save the Man of Vault for turn two. This is a definitely keepable hand. And he's mulliganed to six. So let's see what we can do here. So we are going to play the uh, Mishra's Workshop. And why not play this Mox Opal? Actually, I think I can play. Smokestack. If I tap Mana Vault, that gives me five mana, six mana. Oh, that's just one short, right? So I float two, I get three here, that's only five. Yeah, so I don't have enough. I can. Maybe it's better that I do this. Instead. Play smokestack on turn two, on turn one. And that way I ha he has to sacrifice uh, whatever land he plays. Alright, so let's stack these correctly. This one first. Um, then. There we go. Yes, we will do that. Uh, no, we won't pay that. Draw a tangle wire. That's fine. Uh, so right now we can go City of Traders and Worm Coil Engine. Imagine he's going to brainstorm here. Days. Not bad. That's a pretty good one. So he misses the smokestack and I lose a worm coil. That's pretty good. So, um, traditionally, Workshop has uh, struggled against uh, Delver of the Secrets, so... Uh, this should be an interesting match. Sacrifice permanent. Goodbye, Mana Vault. And yes, I'm going to put a counter on that. Uh, nope, not going to do that. Uh, Tangle wire is fine, but I'm going to just play this. Wow, stifle. Jeez, he's got everything in his deck to fight off this stuff. That's pretty interesting. I mean, I should have him completely blown out by the smokestack, yet he's dazed and stifled his way out of this one. Alright. 
sacrifice two permanents. So let's go with uh, City of Traders and uh, go with Mox Opal. Alright, so let's go with play the City of Traders and uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm gonna play this Tangle Wire just because I can I can get him on his turn, but also it gets me something that I can uh, tap and then sacrifice the Smokestack. It's a little redundant, but because I have two Tangle Wires in my hand, I'm gonna keep uh, try and keep the pressure on him here. What in the world does he got now? You gotta be kidding. He has another stifle. Jesus. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's really ridiculous because I mean, Stifle is good and you know Days is good in Classic, but I mean, my goodness, it's even it's even r ridiculously better <laughs> against me in this deck right here. Um, so I want to stack this, stack that. Um, well, I guess I did that one backwards. Well, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. Nope, don't want to use that ability. I have to sacrifice two permanents. So let's go with uh, smokestack and oh, let's go with city of traders and tangle wire. I can go City of Traders and then Chalice for one. How about that? All right. Maybe now I can get somewhere here. So I finally, finally kill something with my spokes to heck. <laughs> <laughs> on his turn five. Oh my goodness. All right, so we're gonna have to start drawing some threats here. Stoneforge Mystic is pretty good. Should be on F6 here. Um, Yep. Batter skull is pretty good. All right. Now the question is, do I? Let's say I don't want to put a thing on there. Let's get rid of. Let's get rid of the Mishra's workshop. Chalice of the Void. Make him sacrifice some stuff. Alright. This is fine. I think next turn I will 
get rid of this uh, smokestack and I'll go with the winter orb I think so here's another land that's pretty good well we would be really in control here Nope, I don't want to do that. So I think it's time to get rid of this smokestack and winter orb. Karn's silver golem is pretty good. Imagine this is a Stork Swords of Poshers. Yep. And I think we're going to lose this game because of those stifles. That was pretty bad. I don't think he's ever gotten more value out of those stifles in his life. I'm sure few people have. <laughs> well, we're not out of this yet, but uh, yeah, it's not, uh, not looking too good here. So let's go with uh, this, and that, add one, come on, and we'll tangle wire. Still going to be able to uh, attack. This will brainstorm's okay. Um, if he forces this, we just play the other tangle wire, I suppose. You leave me no choice. I am going to have to play another Tangle Wire. Get myself into this game. It's unfortunate he still gets to tap his art his equipment. I don't understand how that works. The equipment gets tapped, but still provides him value. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but it is what it is. So we take another eight point life swing. Come on. Yes. Do do tap all these guys. What do I miss? Come on. Yeah, it's so much lag tonight. Pain in my butt. Alright, so Wasteland doesn't really help me that much, but I still have to try and fight back here. Responsibilities killing my clock. Come on. Lodestone Golem. Alright, well. Where's Mish's workshop? There it is. Alright. So I have somewhat of a plan. Let's see, is it three to bounce? Ugh, three to bounce. Alright, so he just needs one more land. And then he can do that. Uh, so if he doesn't draw a land this turn, I can actually bring the wasteland back and kill his Caracas. That would help. Ugh. All right. Hopefully he doesn't see that line. I don't have any other choice but to block here. Oh, 
Well, either way, he's, I turn him off of white, so that's not terrible. Land the Caracas. He's gonna presumably either return it or wasteland one of my lands. I assume he's gonna return it so that he can use it next turn if he gets a white source. Yep. So he didn't miss that, and you know, we pretty much can't do anything really. He must really want to play a spell if he didn't uh, didn't tap that island. So I guess he's going to use this brainstorm to try and dig for a white source, which makes sense. I'm in top deck mode. I gotta just uh, start drawing some threats here. Mr.'s workshop is not really a threat. Um, so, yeah. I almost have to just try and just go to Wasteland as Wasteland. Because he's just going to Wasteland my Mistress Factory um, if, if I activate it. So, it is what it is. Yep. He's at 32. I mean, that's pretty rough. I'm going to have to top deck a worm coil or something to get back in this game. City of Traders is not a worm coil engine. So, let's bring this Mishra's Factory back, and we'll pass the turn. So he hasn't drawn the land, that's good. Mox Opal, that really doesn't help too much. Uh, so, let's go with... Let's go with Wasteland. Add one. Make this guy a two. Cast a Mox Opal. Can't do anything with that. But I will attack. with this Stoneforge Mystic, so I've got a couple turns here to do some, get something off the top of my deck. Uh, Wasteland is not what I'm looking for. Flooding out pretty bad here. Uh, I suppose playing this workshop is slightly better, just in the off chance that he draws. Come on. Come on, this lag is... Annoying. Alright. Yeah, 
inch in tune doesn't really do much for us at all. It's up to six cards. That's pretty impressive with only one land out. I imagine he's playing with a uh, true name Nemesis, so that's um might be he might have a couple copies of that clogging up his hand. Draw another land. Ugh. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, um well, at this point, might as well just play that silly City of Traders. Got his white man that he's looking for. That's too bad. Now we have to do something with his batter skull again. Oh, a jit. Okay. That's interesting. Tank of wire. Oh, well that helps. Uh, let's see here. Let's go tap two, activate, uh, bring back wasteland, okay. Imagine he's got a force of will. He doesn't. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how we are in this match, but we actually are. is just killing me. I don't know how I win this match because this, this this the lag and all my upkeep maintenance is just killing my clock. I got almost no time left to play two more games. I have a feeling that whoever wins this game wins this match because uh, we're really taking up a lot of clock time. Now that Wasteland is annoying, you can knock off our uh, factory. Thorn of Amethyst. Uh, a little too late. I'll play it. Uh, get to play a land. So let's go with City of Traders. It's just going to wasteland it. That's fine. that man I guess or he just wants something to tap to the tangle wire one or the other a brainstorm with Delver okay Thorn of Amethyst, more redundancy, it don't help.
Oh, all right, we lost. All right, turn 19. Ugh, my goodness. All right, so um, definitely want Triskelion. That's about it. Um, cards to take out. Cards to take out. Not really sure. I don't know if I really want uh, all four smokestacks and uh, crucible's good. Well, actually, a smokestack against his uh, stifles is just terrible. So. Doubt he's playing with. Yep, might as well play first. Uh, this is really just bad. I have to mulligan that. This is uh, equally as bad. One land that taps for one mana. Uh, this is uh, going pr downhill pretty quickly, and we're gonna mull to oblivion. So, I'm pretty sure we lost this match. We're going to have to take a bazillion damage just to uh, just to get out of this. I mean, it, that was a completely wrong set of plays, but I mean, this is pretty much over. Punt this uh, match pretty darn hard. Come on, yes, I want to, of course, lose the flip. Tap three. Bam. Just Gillian. Yep, nothing. So how do we win? Um, I'm pretty sure this is impossible, but we'll play out the string. And we lose the flip again, of course. is just absurd. Sure, days. Why not? Hey, we win. It's about time. All right, so we're one land away from getting a Steel Hellkite out. Uh, that is not going to help us. Yeah. I don't think we can play that. As much as I want to, um, it's just not going to help us. He's stuck on one land. After all that, I'm just going to kill myself with a mana crypt. Chalice of the Void. Sure, I'll play Chalice of the Void on one. Got nothing better to do. So 
so I think if oh yeah another days all right sure I think I might have actually been able to win the first game um, if I just had gotten rid of my uh, smokestack sooner. If I gotten rid of the smokestack sooner, I would have been able to. Yeah, it was the flip. Um, I would have been able to keep the. Jeez, um, can't get anything. I would have been able to keep the uh, Chalice of the Void on one, and I probably would have had a much better chance of winning that game. Um, uh, it's uh, still much of a long shot, but um, probably would have turned out a lot better. So he's brainstorming and stuck on one land. So let's see if I can mana crypt myself to death. Uh, well, I can get rid of this uh, mana crypt next turn. No, no, I can't. He's got a force. So, yep. Even if I had played the Trinisphere a few turns ago, it wouldn't have helped me. Brainstorming again? No. Okay. Uh, because it would have died. I wouldn't have flipped. I am looking out pretty well. Alright, so... Mishra's Workshop means I don't have to tap the Ancient Tomb. Uh, sure. Steel Hellkite, go. Get a worm coil engine. I'm in actually decent shape. I would have to lose two flips, which I'm one for one now. Uh, winter orb is superfluous. Um, yeah, so I need this Triskelion more than I do uh, that winter orb. takes nine next turn. Wow, he's not drawing any land. This is really crazy. Alright, gotta win another flip. Come on, heads. Ooh. Chalice of the Void. Okay, um... One damage away from it. Unbelievable. One damage. That's what I was away from actually winning this game. <laughs> what a crazy game. So it comes down to Mana Crip. Come on. Oh! <laughs> we lose!
Oh, that's terrible. We were about to win. Alright, good games. Let's see if we can go three and one.